fuck you, 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 Surgery has been around for centuries. In fact, the oldest procedure dates back to 800 BC. However, the cosmetic surgeries that we see today started gaining popularity in the 1800s and has grown rapidly since the 2000s. As humans, we have always had concerns about our outer appearance since the beginning of civilization. So, to offer such people a better look, ancient doctors took the time and effort to find new ways of performing aesthetic procedures. People use specialized techniques to change their looks such as injecting, ripping, snipping, and stitching to make body parts look beautiful and smooth. But who came up with these ideas in the first place? Well, Shashrata was an ancient Indian healer and one of the first surgeons in the world. He was the first to practice skin grafting, which would still be a technique we use to this day. Although the tools and techniques and surgeries have evolved dramatically over the years, the basics have remained the same. Gradually, the techniques became more and more defined and precise, and when anesthesia and antiseptics were introduced in the 19th century, plastic and cosmetic surgery became safer and easier. I guess it's safe to say that it wouldn't be long until Western society started seeing considerable growth and demand for such procedures. What started off as procedures to correct things such as physical deformities and critical wounds have evolved and introduced body enhancement procedures. Now, fast forward a century later, and in the 2000s, people started opting for lower body lifts, upper arm lifts, thigh lifts, and breast lifts, which have increased immensely in the past 18 years. In 2002, we saw the introduction of Botox, which also proved to be a huge turning point with the stigma associated with cosmetic surgery. Body contouring procedures also increased greatly over the years, and butt augmentation surgery, which started being tracked in 2013, has doubled since the 2000s. However, breast enhancement is still number one, with liposuction standing at number two. Between 2014 and 2015, the cosmetic industry recorded 15.9 million procedures, which was a 2% increase from the previous year. And by the end of 2016, the industry had recorded a further increase with over 17 million procedures performed. The popularity of plastic surgery is evidently growing, and it's expected to be a global industry worth $8.5 by 2022. It's crazy how surgery used to be something that people were ashamed to talk about. Now everyone's talking about it as if it's normal. But what has really influenced people to go and get these surgeries? Well, it looks like the number one factor that is influencing these decisions is social media. We're in the era of likes, attention, and filtered photos. And while this may not seem like a big deal, it really is because our worldwide perception of beauty is being altered. Butt implants, lifts, and fat injections have become extremely popular recently, but Botox and commercial fillers have shifted from middle-aged adults to even younger audiences. Because social media is so prevalent among celebrities and young people, we have girls wanting to change how they look due to seeing the unrealistic perfection and the constant pressure from society's standard of beauty. Other factors that influence these decisions are self-esteem, self-rated attractiveness, and life satisfaction. However, there is no guarantee that a saline set or tummy tuck will give you more confidence. Cosmetic surgery can definitely improve your image, but if you're looking to improve the way you feel about yourself, it may be psychologically related. Last year, more than 17.7 million people had some sort of cosmetic procedure, including Botox. Brazilian butt lifts were deemed the hottest growing procedure, jumping from 1.6% from the previous year. With so many people going under the knife, it's so hard to minimize just how serious and dangerous plastic surgery can actually be. Many reality shows give off the impression that surgery is a quick and easy fix, but this leaves many people misinformed about the true realities of it. And it's also extremely easy to talk about all of the positive sides of surgery. But what about the botched surgeries? No one is talking about the repercussions or the side effects of these surgeries. How about the death tolls of these surgeries and permanent effects? Complication for cosmetic surgeries include scarring, nerve damage, infection, hematoma, necrosis, bleeding, death, seroma, blood clots, 
organ damage, anesthesia complications. Other negative effects can include botch surgery, which not only fails to improve your appearance, but makes your appearance worse than before surgery. There's also BBD, body dysmorphic disorder. People with this disorder may frequently examine their appearance in a mirror, constantly compare their appearance with that of others, and avoid social situations or photos. And this can lead to addiction. People fail to mention the upkeep and retouches of these surgeries. Remember, the results are permanent and some are irreversible. Many people are under the impression of having surgery only one time, but they fail to realize that certain factors such as diet, age, gravity, also weight gain can affect your surgical body. So is it even really worth it at all? Well, overall, it's evident that the stigma associated with surgeries is starting to fade, and most people are only in it for the look, but it's actually much deeper than that. There's more to surgery than just your appearance. It's a change and a responsibility, because now that you have the body, you have to maintain the body. Otherwise, it will go back to its original form. Not to mention that this can also be costly, with procedures ranging anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000. So, what's an alternative solution? Working out. It has many great benefits, mentally, physically, it can make you happier, it can make your heart healthier, gives you strength. And while it's so easy to talk about the negative sides of surgery, I'll end this video on a positive note. The good things that I do see changing are companies starting to realize the self-deprecation girls can feel while looking at beauty ads or model selling clothes. More and more companies are allowing diversity into their ads, and I definitely commend them for this. This gives off a very positive message to young women who do not always fit the perfect body type or other types and standards society has deemed as perfect. And what I personally have to say about it is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This body is only temporary anyway, and we were meant to get older. By the way, true happiness comes from within, and no matter how many changes you make to the outside, it will never change the inside. That was Millie with the Spilly, back with another video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content.